The despicable eco-terrorists of the extremist green organisation Just Stop Oil continue to wreak destruction on the lives of hard-working folk and British businesses attempting to cope with the cost of living crisis. These lunatics continue tunnelling near a major oil refinery in Essex in order to weaken the road and force it to be closed. We are currently blocking tankers on St Clement's Way. We have got a tunnel just going underneath this railway bridge. We've been doing everything we can to get this road shut down and we've been told that it's more important that oil continues to flow even if a heavy goods vehicle driver dies. Um, as it is at the minute, they're not confirming that they will not reopen the road and it is your, up to you to take care of your own safety. So if you feel unsafe, you, have to, you should come out, okay? And I'll say what I said to the other guy, when I hear anything, I'll then come back to you and give you any updates. Now, such idiotic and criminal behaviour has caused road closures, risk safety and impacted businesses to the tune of tens of thousands of pounds, including, by the way, disturbing the printing and distribution of the country's most popular newspaper, the Daily Mail. While eight people were arrested, many others shamefully remain underground, even now, attempting to destroy roads, risking injury or even death. And that's just the beginning of the carnage this group of eco-terrorists have caused in the last fortnight alone. I'm really struggling to breathe. Probably because I've got really severe asthma. Today, the Home Secretary Priti Patel hit out at the group, saying these thugs and so-called eco-warriors are waging a war against the British people by going out of their way with planned disruptions affecting our daily way of life. Our freedoms, our free press, they are in the wrong. They should be stopped, in my view. This is symptomatic of lawlessness in our country, where it's seen as OK for these people to behave in this way. It is not OK. The police must impose the full force of the law and not allow these protesters to get on site. Well, I agree, Home Secretary. But you're in charge of the increasingly woke police who seem to be focused on negotiation with these zealots, not enforcement. <laughs> I mean, this is a disgrace. Because if these common criminals were members of any other terrorist group, they would, without any delay, be dragged from underground and locked up. So why have they been treated differently? Because their law-breaking has an eco-slant. As Priti Patel explained, there are laws in place which should be used. Laws including arrest for aggravated trespass exist. And my public order bill will bring in new criminal offences for these tactics and protests. They are causing criminal damage and have criminal intent in the acts they are participating in. But the woke weekly assistant chief constable Glenn Pavilion showed where the police stand by pandering to the protesters, pleading, wait for this, we take the concerns of this particular protest group, its members and supporters seriously and are willing to work with you so that your rights to peaceful protests can take place without members breaking the law. The current action is dangerous and putting lives at risk. We encourage those involved to reevaluate the action they are taking. How pathetic. Constable, these are eco-terrorists breaking the law. It's your job to arrest them, lock them up, and bring an end to this lawless behaviour so you can focus on the epidemic of violent crime 